There's something else that uh, is said after uh, a death, but this one involves belief, which is where I begin to have big problems. <laughs> this one happens after the funeral, after the burial, back at the house. Back at the house where the family and friends and the loved ones of the deceased are having some food and drink and they're enjoying some warm reminiscences of the person who passed away. Sooner or later, someone is bound to say the following, uh, especially after a few drinks. <laughs> you know, I think he's up there now, smiling down at us. <laughs> and I think he's pleased. <laughs> now, first of all, there is no up there. for people to be smiling down from. <laughs> it's poetic, it's quaint, and I guess for superstitious people it provides a little comfort, but it doesn't exist. But if it did, if it did, and if someone did somehow survive death in a non-physical form, I personally think he'd be far too busy with other celestial activities than to be standing around paradise, smiling down. <laughs> On live people, what kind of a fucking eternity is that? And why is it no one ever says, I think he's down there now, <laughs> smiling up at us? <laughs> Apparently, it never occurs to people that their loved ones might be in hell. <laughs> your parents could be in hell right now. Your parents and your father for sure. <laughs> oh shit, hell is full of dads. Full of dads. Even the ones who took you to the ball game just for beating the shit out of you once too often and fucking the neighbor lady and fucking the neighbor dog and who knows, maybe even fucking the UPS man. We'll never know what mischief dad was up to. Parents in heaven, parents in hell, excuse me. Kind of gives me a nice feeling, you know? Grandparents in hell. Picture that. Picture your grandmother in hell. Baking pies without an oven. And if someone were in hell, I doubt very seriously he'd be smiling. I think he's down there now, screaming up at us. And I think he's in severe pain. People just refuse to be realistic. They don't like to be realistic. People would rather stroke themselves, you know? Oh, they like to stroke themselves, don't they? Stroke themselves, they stroke each other, they get stroked, they stroke the boss, the boss strokes them, everybody strokes everybody. It's nothing but a big stroke job in this country. The government strokes you every day of your life, religion never stops stroking you, big business gives you a good stroke, and it's one big transcontinental cross-country red, white, and blue stroke job. Do you know? 